So this is the Vevor setup. Um, as you can see, at least one block did just fall off. And I'm, I'm thinking that the, all the blocks are maybe the same or not. I don't know what happened here. The block is basically pretty okay, but it did just come off. And I'm not a big fan of these semi-flexible cables. And I didn't check that, that the, this is something like 10 millimeter cable. And somehow I did think that the two meters is, is basically enough for humor, but it's not. But you want to check these faulty, faulty from the factory. And if something like this happens in your car, uh, okay, yeah, there is fuses at the both ends, but still. Imagine yourself camping somewhere with the car or motorhome and the plug is coming loose and like this. And that you don't have the battery relay anymore. Or you need to fix this whole damn cable on the go. The air cable is something what we maybe then use, but mm, I don't know. I maybe go to the Puilo and get new cables, something like 60 millimeters or maybe even 10 millimeter. I think this is 10 millimeter. It doesn't look like 16. There is not that much co copper inside. And there is no, no writing here. But yeah, this can be something like 10 millimeter, 16 millimeter. I don't know. I think this is 16. Yeah, it can be the same because this has like more rubber around the copper, but this has a little bit less rubber, but it's more flexible. Then we have the protecting chip, chip size, one fuse box, second fuse box. Then we have the fuses, cable holders. Wait, it should say that in the saw itself. It reads SC108. So the bolt is 8 mm and the cable should be 8 to 10. Then we have the. Mm, somewhat okay. Battery choice. I don't like when there is the Philips head here. And I have the new battery choice already. More visual tape. The only problem what I have right now is that my plan was to install this today. And I don't have cable anymore. So I have only 25 mm cable, the ultra flexible. Like here. This is the high flex or yeah. High flex 25 mm. But I don't have the source for that. Or the ring connectors. So I need to check what is the cheapest way or what is the more budget way because don't get me wrong the 10 mm cable is pretty okay but uh, at least the 25 mm cable is costing like 8 euros for one meter so if i need to have like three meters it's going to cost me 24 then the grounding i don't know how i'm going to do the grounding but but if I get 10 mm cable, then it's like something like, I don't know, maybe 3 euros, 4 euros for 1 meter. So I can get 3 meters, something like that, for positive side. Then the battery is basically grounded. So it shows that it's sharing the same grounding point. So basically if I just ground my laser battery at the motorhome, 
to the body or justice, then it's all be okay. But then it needs to. But that is not basically. Hmm. I think it's not problem. We have some small ring connectors, so I think this negative cable here is going inside here, and it doesn't really need to be that big. Oh, okay. At least it's it's showing it's inside here that there is the positive start battery, positive secondary battery, because. This is something what is really made. Here you can see that the top one is showing start battery and secondary battery is the bottom one. If you flip this, it's showing different. So M6 to the main battery positive, M6 to the aux, so aux up, uh, main battery down. But here is the start batteries up and the laser battery is down but you can somehow maybe figure out by looking this picture that it's basically this is showing the it like this but then the label is way off but it's it's basically showing it it like this and this one is showing this like uh, this. I don't know, it doesn't really make sense, but it, it is what it is. Now I need to figure out the cabling. Cabling issue. I may, maybe get more new ring connectors, or I just use a ring connectors what I have, and I get the cable by that. So the only problem is that we have this is for 8mm cable, but it's the no it's the 10mm cable and 8mm bolt. This is 8mm bolt and 10mm cable. This is 10mm hole and 50mm cable. That is 16 and 10 millimeter hole. So we have a lot of connectors for 10 millimeter cable. Okay, you can install those here. I did take the cheap one. This is costing only 40 euros or something like that. A little bit more than 40 euros, but. Uh, the battery isolator relay is costing something like 50 euros in Finland, so I did, I did get that straight from the devil. But I was hoping that I can get something like parts what I can use. Okay, I can use the fuse boxes, but I cannot use the cables. Or if I make the make the new new connectors here. But yeah, check the connectors. What's out with this product? I, I can't recommend this, but it's pretty okay, but keep in mind this is the cheapest one. So when you get more cable, the price is going up. So, but I don't know, yeah, it's, it's somewhat okay if you don't have the battery shows and everything. But I, I did replace all my battery source and everything already, so these are pretty useless for me. And we get the drill bit with the kit, I don't know where the hell we need that, but... But yeah, we get some accessories. I'm not 100% sure what is the... So it's 80 amperes. So you get stuff like this, but if you have already pulled your system and you need only the battery isolator, then I can say just I don't really recommend this. Something like Victron 
battery is a lot or it's costing like 50, 60, 70 euros, something like that. The price is, depends where you get that, but, but let's say it's starting from 50 euros and it's ending something like 70 euros. So it's like 10 euros more than this. Okay, you have the kit, but it's pretty useless if you cannot use the cables what are coming with the kit. So if you need to fix the cables and do everything like that.